Whoa! What is that? This looks like oh, that's nasty. long that's hair. Oh, oh, oh. I'm Mo Sargent. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions, those ghosts or spirits were telling her, build this, build this, to fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. <laughs> we lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy! Live a little. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another adventure. Today we are giving you guys a really cool exploration video. So recently my buddy Rennie over here, you guys know Rennie. He usually goes to a lot of places and does like drone shop videos for some reason. He just loves to use a drone. I bought the drone in the winter actually. Huh? I bought the drone in the winter and ever since then I've always been using it. Yeah, he's been really hooked on doing drone videos. So recently he came up to the ruins up here in the mountains that I usually go and we've film at. We've been here before actually. And we've been here many times and he was using the drone and you call it what something like what you like, saw the footage yeah it looked I, like bigfoot i don't know i'm, I'm just okay, saying that. i think it looks more like a bear but it's weird because it looks like it's almost upright so that's why yeah what is so it? i seen the footage it kind of it honestly looks like bigfoot and Look, that, judge for yourselves judge for yourself that's the clip right here It literally looks like Bigfoot. I don't know. So what we're going to go and do today is we're going to hike up into the mountain. We're going to spend all day, maybe even stay here till tomorrow. We brought some rations with us. Maybe we'll find Bigfoot. I know there's we're bears up here. I know for a yeah. fact, I know for a fact there there's bears, bears here because I actually encountered a bear up here a long time but ago. But that did not look like a bear in the footage. Yeah. That's the thing. So this might either go really bad or it might be good. I, I am going to bring my machete on this one. Mm -hmm. And I have an axe if one of you guys wants to carry bring an axe. Mosquito net too. Yes. There's going to be a lot of bugs. So smash the like button. We're going to be searching for Bigfoot. I'm so excited about this. You guys know I'm a big Bigfoot fan. I believe in Bigfoot. I know Bigfoot is out there. Let me know in the comments below if you believe in Bigfoot as well. And if you want more of these type of Bigfoot videos. Shout out to Rennie. His Instagram link is down below and shout out to Angela no links are down below <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking I love both these guys are awesome people guys go follow them their IGs are down below let's get on with this adventure yes yeah, so I'm pretty sure what Rennie found was probably a bear considering there's signs out here this may explain it this, this may, may explain, explain it, it but you said I mean guys I seen it too well that's his black bear and in the footage it looks more brown yeah so I mean I don't know <laughs> this is gonna be scary if there is a bear. I had to bring a machete though. And obviously, the number one rule to bear survival with Mosarji is you don't outrun the bear, you outrun your slowest friend. Who's the best sprinter here? <laughs> he, he's, a, he's a smoker, so he's probably slow. Oh. Renny has gained a couple pounds. He's gone very slow lately. Me, on the other hand, I just had two double cheeseburgers and a chicken burger, so I don't know. Anybody do? Underestimates us both. Yeah, but you guys are forgetting. I gave you all the heavy backpacks of all the gear, <laughs> so you all have the gear with you. We got the drones, we got camera, we got if food. I have the machete. I can slow you down. That's right. <sighs> So as you guys can see, we have quite the hike to go. There's a lot of uphills and downhills, waterfalls. <laughs> exactly, just like in life. This guy's already got the bug net I'm on. I'm not taking any chances. You yeah. and I, I, we were here last time, Mo Island. The last year we were the here. worst experiences in my entire life. <laughs> it actually was too. I'm not taking any chances anymore. So last summer at the exact same time, probably the same week or same month maybe, it is officially June 1st, we were, hiking up here and we brought a tent with us and we want to do a survival video on an island that's inside of a lake up in the mountain here and we built our tent and everything but the black flies or horse flies they bite so hard that we just had to abandon all our gear all our tents everything and just leave you because need to use one word to sum up that whole video hell fail okay that's no no that wasn't fail that was hell that was literally hell we, we couldn't, we just couldn't survive. It was just, we couldn't make a fire for us all. That's why I fly a drone through here <laughs> and I don't walk through here, okay? Yeah, but we're walking through here today. Flies we, don't bother drones. We gotta find Bigfoot. So, 
we are making our way to the ruins now. They're way up the mountain. We gotta get past this really beautiful lake as you guys can see here. That's Mole Island right there. That's where we had to ditch our tent over there on that island. I know it doesn't look like an island from this angle, but trust me, it is an island. And uh, way past the island, up the mountain, that's where Rennie was doing his drone shots. That's Mo Island, past that are the ruins. Yeah, and then, after and then that, you kept going like a good half an hour up there, yeah. So yeah, we got a lot of ground to cover. I haven't been filming everything because I've filmed this place so many times. I don't want it to be repetitive. I just want to capture Bigfoot with clear HD quality. That's right. On like every other video on the internet, they've captured Bigfoot with like- Grainy footage, and they're usually camera. Yeah, and they're usually like a team from the Travel Channel or something like. You know it's them saying to each other, okay, don't keep it in focus, okay? <laughs> Rattle the cameras. No, I don't think it's what it is. I don't know. Because a lot of it's at nighttime, the footage, and we might actually have to stay here till nighttime, but we do have a very high definition night vision camera as well, which is why we have so much gear with us today. Like drones, we got- Whatever we might find today, it's kind of doesn't really matter all too much because the fact is that drone footage that we have, uh -huh. that alone is pretty cool. Yeah. It, I can't tell if it's bare. I can't tell what it is. Neither Honestly, it looks like- Bigfoot. That's like, what I mean. that's why, that's why, that's, that's how Rennie got here. me out here. Is because he's like, Mo, I'm pretty sure I captured Bigfoot. 10%. Hey, you got just as excited as I am. Yeah, like 10%. Footage, okay? It's a bear, but hey guys, we can take a shortcut from here. Come here. Yes, I know yes. a shortcut this way. I am so grateful that I, I'm smart and I brought boots. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you guys are just destroying your shoes. I don't know why you just don't take the grassy way. Like, you followed me into the mud. It's just weird. But look at that big footprint. What is that? No idea. Hmm. Are, are you good? Oh, you just sunk in that. Oh my god. Are those brand new shoes? No. You do this every freaking time. I, I, at some point, like in time, like people are gonna think you're doing this on purpose, ruining your shoes. Every video Rennie comes along with, he ruins his shoes. I find it very strange that a lot of the trees on this trail here, that these weren't like this last year, and they're all falling over. It's like something knocked them over. <laughs> Wood chips, my favorite. Wait, let's let's be real here. Did a beaver do this or did Bigfoot do this? You never know. He. I, I mean, that one's almost ready. To, that two, one's two. almost ready to go. He's gotta wipe his butt on something. <laughs> you think it's Bigfoot booty rub? <laughs> All right, I know we're joking around a lot, but this is how we are. Accept us, okay? If you don't want to, then there's other channels to watch. But we are actually making an effort to go and find. That hairy man, this man almost just died. Are you good? We're gonna go find that hairy man called Bigfoot. Or his woman, she's hairy too. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna break their ankle today. <laughs> this is a good example of how 2020 is holding on right now. <laughs> that is a very, very good example. This is 2020, pretend it's 2020. And this little piece of wood here is how Everybody's held together. Rest in peace, 2020. In 2021, no one is ever allowed to bring up 2020 ever again. That's true. Two years from now for Halloween, I'm gonna make my uh, daughter a 2020 costume. It's just gonna say 2020 for Halloween. It's gonna be you the scary. To wear a monster, it's gonna be scariest, this is the scariest costume ever. ever. Ow! What the hell was that? It's called a branch. Damn it. There you go, another giant tree that's been downed here. And this wasn't like that last time. This was all clear to walk through. Damn, all these trees have been like tipped over. Interesting. Come on in. Whoa. So I was recently watching a documentary about Bigfoot and how places that have the Sasquatch or Bigfoot or the Yeti, I believe they're all the same being. Usually the Bigfoots or whatever they are, they knock over trees in a certain pattern. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, that pattern right there. Like, yes, you could say, oh, it's just a tree that's been tipped over, but look at how it's been uprooted completely. And every other tree behind me has been uprooted. And that one up there, that one up there that Angela's about to walk under, this could be evidence of a Bigfoot or a creature that's doing this. Look at this. There's, guys, but no, seriously, like it takes a lot of force to uproot a tree this old and this big and flip it over into the water. Yeah, this is an ancient tree. This tree's at least 100 years old. This is crazy. I hear a waterfall. And that's the way to get to Mo Island, right there. You gotta take the rocks, and then you'll be on the island. All right, we're gonna cross over. Just make sure you do not fall in with any of the gear. It looks like somebody placed a conveniently big log here for us to cross over. There's the ruins down there. So it looks like there's a log here 
Because before we'd have to toss in the water. Now, whoa. okay. Okay, maybe it's not as stable as we thought. <laughs> I think I'm good. So far, so good. I think it's good. We're good. Here, let's drive the camera. <laughs> if anyone's gonna fall, it's gonna be Rennie. Probably, yeah, I can see. Alright, come on over. Let's go, cool, dude. There we go. Easy peasy. So we're back on Mo Island. We actually might try to use a drone from this point to see if we can see anything in the surrounding area up yeah, above yeah. us. So that's what we'll do is we'll whip out the drone and we'll try to film something. It's so beautiful. I, I'd actually live on this island if I could. No, it's not. There's not that many bugs. No, there's no bugs at all, which is good because it's kind of cooler today. Hey guys, don't forget that the new Live a Little merch is officially out. The Wolf Edition merch. It's the new stuff. It's got the Live a Little mer Wolf on the merch and it says Live a Little in the front. And uh, if you guys get two items or more, you're officially going to be entered into when random pieces of merch that's going to come with your order. So it's only if you buy two items or more, you might get an extra random piece of merch. For It's just going to be random. So we're not just picking anybody you randomly will have a better chance at getting it So this is the area where we had our tent and it's obviously gone I guess the park rangers came in and took it, but we got to get to the other side and go up the mountain and way that way. But we are gonna fly the drone from here somewhere hoping we can actually See a bigfoot. Well around what time do you think it was? Four or five so it's around what time we are here now we'll too see. so Okay, good. Mo, right. just, just tell me one thing. Do you, do you think it's a really good idea to deploy the drone in the middle of a forest? <laughs> as good as it can get. I don't see what the problem is. I really don't. You don't? I'm an expert drone. I think I do, man. I'm an expert <laughs> drone flyer guy. I'm Very not, technical term there too, yeah. I can fly a drone from anywhere, trust me. <laughs> right here? Yeah. This is an opening? Yeah, I know, eh? <laughs> it's an opening. An opening. <laughs> okay. Mo, Mo knows what he's doing, okay, he'll guys? Figure it out. He'll he's like, a professional. He'll like go through those branches. And... <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right, so now we gotta find an opening. <laughs> there, we're there. There we go. Yay. Goodbye, Mr. Drone. <laughs> See you soon. All right, told you guys I can do it. Fan oh, I found, bugs. I found, yeah. You're gonna fan him with <laughs> the Ouija board? The bugs the Ouija board. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Hold on, I got a weak signal. Ow, mosquitoes! <laughs> Get away! We <laughs> <laughs> have mosquito spray. All right guys, so we did a little bit of reconnaissance with the drone, but now here comes the hard part. Mo, do you feel confident? Can you bring it back in? Um, I said I was good at sending it out. <laughs> Bringing it back in is a different story. I didn't catch anything on the drone though. All I seen was people at the ruins. There's people at the bridge over there too. Yeah, no it's hard too, there. because you can see how dense the canopies are. But so it's do, really hard. I did, I did go up like as far range as I possibly could with the drone up that way where you said you saw it so we're gonna yeah. have to hike up there anyways yep all right so there's a big opening up ahead i can hear it above but i can't see it there it is all right so i'm gonna bring my baby in over here there we go there it is You got this, man. Piece of cake. They're playing Super Mario. <laughs> Look at that skill. Yeah, but I'm mad that we didn't see anything. Might still be early. Yeah. Well, you never know. Either way, we're actually going there. Yeah, we are heading yeah. up there no matter what. I, in my opinion, if there is a Bigfoot creature, even a bear, 
they're gonna be scared because there's too many people around here. Yeah. So we're gonna keep hiking up the mountain. So to get to the other side of the mountain, we have to go up through here, through the water. We've never been up through this way. Usually we'd have to take the ruins and get up to the bridge, but we need shortcuts. Shortcuts in life are always the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this one out. Whoa. There we go. Wow, it's actually a beautiful place to swim here in the summer. I mean, you can not cross, you might get a little bit wet. You're definitely gonna get your shoes wet. Oh my god. Yes, first snake of the year and it didn't poop on me like last year. <laughs> That's a big one. I've never caught a snake this big before. Do you know what type of snake that is? Oh, it stinks. Oh, it stinks so bad. It's a gardener snake. It's probably pooping now. It's not poisonous. Wow, this is so amazing. Hey, relax. Oh, it stinks so bad. I think it does that on purpose. Yeah. Oh my god. I need my phone. Alright, relax. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wow. Look at that, you guys. Caught my first snake of the year. This is so cool. This is big. Look how big the snake yeah, is. Yeah, it is big. That's a big ass snake. You want to hold it? Oh, thank you. Really? Ooh, it does stink. Yeah, it's it stinks. Nasty. They, I think they do that on purpose. Yeah. Look, that's the butthole right there down yeah. there. So, I absolutely love snakes and animals, you guys. There you go. I'm not going to hurt you. And you're not going to bite me. Wow, this is so cool. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and set the snake down. There we go. It's not, not our way. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. Give me the camera. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. You are gorgeous. One of a kind. My God. That is so cool. All right, bye. Bye, Mr. Snake. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, that was really cool. I'm very happy that I got to find a snake. But we are here for one thing and one thing only. And that's to find Bigfoot. So, let's find Bigfoot. Do not fall in. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Give us your best strut, Angelo. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we have made it to the waterfall near the ruins over here. The bridge is closed, so we're gonna have to climb over it and go up the mountain. Hey, I wonder why the bridge is still closed. Maybe because maybe they don't maybe they don't want Bigfoot coming through here. Hey, you remember when I almost died here? I slipped. I slipped and I hit my head on that. I've actually never been here in the daytime like this. So the only, the only, only, only way we can get across the ruins to get up to the mountain where we're ready. How did you get there last time? You just crossed the bridge, right? So that's how we got it. We got to cross the bridge. So here, follow my lead. I've done it before. And just come this way. Just don't fall because you're going to die. I will try not to. Like, you will literally get hurt or die if you fall. So, let's go. Whoa! Holy sh So, we made it across, which is good. Look at that, you guys. Holy moly. Yo, Bigfoot, where you at, though? So, now we're on the other mountain across from the ruins. Looks like someone tried to build a teepee here and failed. Hey, Renny. Did you try to build a teepee here? Because it looks like somebody failed here. <laughs> it's not us. <laughs> All right, guys. We're trekking up the mountain now. We gotta keep going about half an hour from here, I think. And that's where Rennie captured what looked like Bigfoot on camera, on the drone camera. I'm hoping we capture it on this camera because this is a good high definition camera. Hopefully no black bears though. I'd rather Bigfoot than a black bear. Would you rather die by Bigfoot or by a black bear? Neither. <sighs> Damn it. You guys are making this hard. <laughs> I'd rather die by Bigfoot because at least you got killed by something mystical, right? And legendary. Yeah, yeah but you don't know what's killing practices. For all you know, it might want to torture you. Say. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but a bear would literally just eat you. I don't want to be eaten. I'd rather be tortured. I'd rather get to know the person that's killing me and eating me first. Yeah, you want it to be an intimate experience. Yes, it has to be intimate. What are you doing with that? This is an offering to Bigfoot, okay? What's he going to do with that? This is his firewood, okay? You're joking around right now, but Bigfoot's literally going to kill you if he sees you with that. That's his log. Jesus. So we made like a weird discovery as we've been walking down the trail. Like the floor? It's hollow. It's hollow. You it's like echoey. Yeah. Now here's the thing, maybe Bigfoot's 
so. building tunnels. I don't know. <laughs> like ever since we've been walking up this mountain, there could be tunnels underneath us. Okay. Possibly. Sound like a growl. Okay. <laughs> I think there might actually be something out here. All right. Yo, did you guys just f***ing hear that? Yeah. Jesus Christ, off camera we heard a loud growl. And right up there, there, that opening, that's where Rennie got that drone footage. Dude, there actually might be something here. So I'm wearing this because there's too many mosquitoes out here. So, there, so yeah, that's the opening right there. That's it. That's the opening. It's like a marshland. I wonder if he's here. I wonder if that was him that just growled like that off camera. Jesus. That was scary. That was loud too. I don't think that was anyone around here. I almost want to walk through this. All right, I'm going to see how deep this is. Huh? Um, I'll find out. I got boots on, so. Does it sink? Oh yeah, it sinks. But it's not that bad. I'm going to walk into the middle of it. Holy shit, it's like quicksand. I just want to walk in the middle. Maybe there's something there. You might be able to go around. Alright, well I'm still going to walk through here because I'm almost there. Whoa! Whoa! That's deep. Whoa, that's deep! Oh shit, I'm sinking! Oh shit! Oh shit! It's literally like quicksand. Oh shit! Yeah, now my socks are wet. But I am almost there. This is literally quicksand. Huh? Yeah. It looks like it's grass, but I don't think it is. It's a perfect place for Bigfoot to hide out. Oh, there we go. I made it. Whoa! Okay. All right, this is definitely not gr land. It's actual swamp. Whoa! Oh! Yeah! Oh! I'm sinking. Quicksand, yeah. Oh! 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 Okay. 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 That was deep. That was deep. That was deep. What the hell is that? Bad idea. Come back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. I can't even see because I'm wearing this stupid net. Okay. Oh, that was scary. I thought I thought I was gonna I was a goner there. Hey, 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 come here. I found, look at that, look at that, right there. Right there. What is that? I can't get to it because it's like quicksand, but there's hair, guys, there's hair. Yeah, that's hair right there, that's hair. Oh God, I knew coming here was a good idea and bad idea. Hold up, I'm gonna try to not die because it's very, it looks very deep here. Oh, oh what is that? Yep, yeah, that's hair, oh my God. I don't know if it's dog or bear or coyote or what is that? This stinks like it smells worse than that snake. Oh, that's gross. Hey, bro, this this is where you got that drone footage. There's an opening. I don't know if it's necessarily right here, but we're in the right area. I mean, it looked like it. Look at this. You guys see this? Yeah, I see that. Yeah. What type of hair is it? It's gray and brown. I know, but like, is it from a specific animal? Do you... I don't know. I'm not an animal whisperer here. I'm literally almost about to die in the damn swamp. I'm trying to come back here. I'm bringing it with me. Oh, this is this was risky, but it might have been worth it to find this hair. Oh, okay, I'm going to walk this log because it's deep here. Holy moly. Come on, Mo. You got this. You used to be a ballerina, remember? I'm joking. I was never a ballerina. My leg just sank in. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Hey, come get the hair for me. I am soaked in mud, but it was worth it. Look what I found. What the f is that, dude? Look. Look at that. It stinks. Smell it. It smells like poop. What is that? This looks like oh, that's nasty. long hair. Is it from a dog? You smell it? It's so strong. Right? That smells really bad. That's weird. I don't recognize it. Yeah, that's terrible. I know I almost like sank into that swamp over there. It might have been for a good reason. You might have actually caught that animal. Whatever hair... Hold on, I gotta put this back on. These mosquitoes are too much. Whatever it is that you caught on, on the drone, that might be its hair. It's the right color though, because it was brown. So. 
That's I mean, from that height, it's hard to tell we, what we, color. We can't tell. Yeah. That's the thing. Jesus, dude, we actually found some evidence right here. Yeah, I want to keep this. It smells terrible, but I want to keep it. Even if it was a dog, why would a dog be out in the middle of a swamp? That's not dog hair, bro. That's what I mean. It's, it's, it's not like, long. definitely not dog. That's like long six feet long. That's about six foot, six foot of hair. Maybe even more. It's weird. It's almost like horse hair, but not quite. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking actually horse hair, yeah. but it can't be. Well, whatever it is, I'm keeping it. Although it smells gross. I'll add it to the collection of nasty smelling things in my pocket right now, like my gloves covered in stink piss. It might actually come in handy if we want to find this dude. Yeah. I just called Bigfoot a dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> it might actually come in handy. Yo, I thought I was a goner. That was deep. It went like right in. That went knee yeah. deep. Wow. Holy moly. That's quicksand, dude. I can feel it like uh, sucking. Yeah. I can feel it like sucking me in. So we just tried flying the drone in this marshland area. We thought we might be able to find something. It looks very similar to where Rennie flew his drone the other day. And he got that footage of whatever, what looked like a Bigfoot walking through. But we didn't see anything. And I did crash my drone into the tree. Look at that. Yep, crashed my drone. Thank God it didn't break though. I'll um, be honest though, uh, I highly doubt that there's a Bigfoot out there. I think it was a bear. A bear standing up like that? It's just the way it was moving. Bear, yeah, bears are very, very distinct. Like, there's no way that could have been a bear. I don't know, bro. You might have actually found something, but that was what? How many days ago? Last week, actually. Last week? So, like, if there were any, like, prints in the marshlands, they're going to be gone from all that mud. Well, it's a swamp. There's not going to be any footprints. Yeah, there's mud, but it's just going to disappear right away. So, I don't know. We're going to head back because we haven't found nothing and we're gonna maybe examine some of the drone footage that we got because we filmed a lot of drone footage. I went through three batteries in this place and we were gonna examine it further on a laptop. Hopefully we did catch something. So jumping into the day, we kind of got tired of searching for Bigfoot. We are gonna probably come back another day at nighttime, but we are gonna continue this vlog and we're gonna go down because I was told there's a really cool swimming spot down here somewhere and I wanna find it so I can come back and do some diving videos. Apparently a lot of people go diving there, so Let's continue the adventure and go find this place. So we just made like this really strange find on this tree and we thought like people kind of like scribbled on the tree, but it's not, it's natural. It goes all the way up the park. Look at that. Is that, natural though? that is natural, dude. It's almost like there was like a little canal of water going through the tree or it could have been done by some type of animal behind the bark chewing away at the tree while there was bark on it. Cause look, it goes all the way up. Yeah. I've never seen that before. That's interesting. All right guys. Well, we survived going into the forest I mean, I didn't expect us not to survive. We did come back with a souvenir This Strand of disgusting smelling hair. It got leaves in it, too. I don't know guys. Do you guys think this could belong to a Bigfoot? Creature you would just put that in my face. That's gross. Nasty. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video We do want to come back at nighttime because we feel like Bigfoot could be like if there is a Bigfoot in here or even bears They'll be really active at nighttime. We're definitely gonna do some research and see I think we should do some research see what kind of diet Bigfoot lives off of because I heard he likes apples or it likes apples and lots of them So we'll do that on another video. We'll bring out a tent We'll actually tent and camp out in the forest if that's something you guys want to see us do Smash the like button get yourself some live a little merch the wolf edition merch and go follow these two on Instagram Their links are gonna be down below. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Hopefully you enjoyed this video Thank we you to Rennie tired it's because we, We've been hiking for a long yeah, time. We're, yeah, we're exhausted. We're we're muddy, we're wet. We went into the like the Literally water near swamp, the island. Yeah. Angela, we walked through swamp lands. We we, we just already it's, told them. Almost, <laughs> yeah, I actually remember? went into the actual yeah, swamp. I'm exhausted. Did. Like straight up exhausted. But it's all for the adventure. Like I can't feel my toes. I want to go home and sleep now. But yeah, we are gonna be doing that. We are gonna be camping out and trying to capture Bigfoot using night vision, even heat vision. We have heat vision with us we too. You can imagine. Yeah, so we weren't prepared for this one like because you know Rennie hit us up He's like yo, I captured something on my drone footage He didn't even know that he filmed it until he reviewed the footage like he was just doing flybys of the forest and swamp areas And I believe the swamp where I was walking through was one of the areas where it's hard he to tell it was an open spot They can see the footage. Yeah, and where we were we're in the vicinity, so you would imagine that that might be the right area. Yeah, from when we reviewed the footage, like when I saw it, it doesn't look like a bear. No way in hell. The way it was walking was like kind of human-like. And through the drone footage, it looked really massive. Like Bigfoots are supposed to be like seven to eight feet. But I don't know, if you guys believe in Bigfoot, let me know in the comments below how you guys think we should go about it, how we should investigate Bigfoot and try to capture Bigfoot on camera. My mission in life is to literally catch Bigfoot with HD quality. <laughs> Everybody that's ever no filmed one's ever done that, Bigfoot 
has just, you know, filmed it with like such standard quality, like 144p quality. Yeah, Motorola flip phone. It's yeah. Intentional. Literally, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. But we did find this. I don't know, like, it smells bad. I don't know if this belonged to a Bigfoot or a female that maybe it's a girl's hair. It's really long. It's that's I think more disturbing than finding Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. Finding a strand or lock yeah. of hair like that in the middle of the woods. It smells really bad though, but I'm gonna keep this for evidence and research. Not that I'm a scientist, but plus keep in mind hair deteriorates, so Yeah. I can't imagine that being from a person. Yeah, true. Smash the like button, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below if you guys want more. It's so sunny out now. I love it. But you do stay positive and just live a little peace.